नमस्ते वेलकम टू दिस चैनल डॉक्टर ए आर एम्स केमिस्ट्री फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन विथ न्यू टॉपिक स्पेशली फॉर एम एस सी स्टूडेंट्स एंड इट इज ट्रांजिशन मेटल कार्बोनिक्स एंड रिलेटेड कंपाउंड तो पार्ट ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस इज इंट्रोडक्शन एंड हिस्ट्री सो आई विल just uh, read out what are these important points to be discussed in this chapter so we are going to see uh, regarding this transition metal carbonyls the first point as we have discussed here is introduction second is preparation third is structure then physical properties and chemical properties of metal carbonyls anionic and cationic carbonyl complexes levis based derivatives of carbonyls hydrides carbonyl halides then miscellaneous derivatives of metal carbonyls nitrosyl complexes of transition metals complexes of molecular nitrogen cyanide complexes of transition metals so these are various points which are to be discussed under this title of transition metal carbonyls and related compounds so to begin with this topic we are going to see this introduction that is introduction and history <clears throat> so we know that carbon monoxide is represented simply as co It is neutral species. Now, in formal charge, we can represent this as this is also represented as carbon with this structure also. This is equivalent with the structure that is. so this is the simple lewis structure where the formal charge is shown on the carbon and oxygen atoms here the charge on carbon is minus 1 so this is that is minus 1 is formal charge and this is plus 1 formal charge on oxygen so even though oxygen is more electronegative than carbon so it carries the plus 1 formal charge and carbon comparatively more electro uh, positive than oxygen there is minus 1 as formal charge <coughs> if we see the coordinating ability that is sharing its electron then we see that this electron here that is <coughs> of carbon is shared with metal so when carbon monoxide is used as a donor it is softer it is softer donor so this is soft donor that is very base soft donor it is not very hard <clears throat> then if we see some simple physical properties it shows that its melting point melting point is 200 degrees then boiling point is it minus minus 100 90 degree centigrade then it is colorless then odorless very toxic and 
soluble in water. It is soluble in water. So these are important characteristics or properties. <coughs> so in laboratory scale, it can be prepared in laboratory scale. It can be prepared by simple reaction such as dehydration of thermic acid HCOOH. So dehydration is carried out by using concentrated H2SO4. So it gives carbon monoxide plus H2O. <coughs> It is also prepared by reaction between carbon and carbon oxide. <coughs> so, carbon in solid state plus carbon dioxide in gaseous state gives twice CO in gaseous state. <coughs> then, Transition metal carbonates are prepared. <coughs> we are not going to see the preparation here in detail, but we are just taking the <coughs> account of this carbon monoxide. So, transition metals, when treated with carbon monoxide, gives metal carbonates. So, transition metals in solid state or in vapor state. So, we can consider this thing or the other state. So we will not express here the state. So vapor state can better react with the carbon monoxide. So metals react easily with carbon monoxide in gaseous state and give metal carbonyl bond. So metal carbonyl bond is optic. So that is Bond is established between metal and carbon from carbon monoxide. <coughs> then, if we see the metal carbonyls, the, the metals are these metals are generally from transition transition cities that is 3D, 4D, 5D. D. So bulk of these metal carbonyls are obtained using the transition metals and there are these 3D, 4D, 5D metal series, transition series. But very few number of these metal carbonyls are also obtained from chlorine and halide. So bulk carbonyls are obtained from this whereas 4F and 5F metals also give very few few metal carbonyls metal carbonyls <coughs> similarly non-transition metals such as boron, beryllium etc. can also give the metal carbonates. But we are not going to see these uh, non-transition metal carbonates in this topic. If we see the transition metals, <coughs> then it is shown, the metals are shown from group transition metals are shown from group third B to the eighth B and then we are also showing the first B and second B. So out of this the metal carbonates are best given by Best metal carbonyls. Best means easily or 
एक मेटल कार्बोनिल्स मेटल कार्बोनिल्स आर गिवन बाय इज ग्रुप एट मेटल आयंस और मेटल्स इस मेटल आयंस आर नॉट नेसेसरी द ग्रुप एट मेटल्स सो दे आर गिविंग गुड नंबर ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स Whereas the metal ions of group seven, group six, and group five, and group five, give relatively less number of metal carbonyls. metal carbonyls so group eight metal ions use large number of metal carbonyls then a relatively less number of metal carbonyls are obtained in uh, metals from this seven group again less number in sixth group again less number in fifth group <coughs> then the other metal carbonyls as we have seen Are also obtained from the non-transition metals such as boron, beryllium, etc. For example, if we see the boron metals, then we can see the B B C L two thrice C O and another is B. See three times CO. We will see the landmarks in the history of metal carbonyls. So first stage, the metal carbonyls were were found or prepared first in eighteen hundred eighty eight. The first metal carbonyl was prepared in eighteen hundred eighty eight. They it was NiCO4. It was NiCO4. It was prepared by Langer. C Langer. It was prepared by C Langer. By C Langer. In the Elmore's laboratory. In L Morse, L Morse elaborate. <coughs> Then second carbony, metal carbony, was prepared in eighteen hundred eighty nine, ninety one, eighteen hundred ninety one, and it was a piece of wood for you. It was FeCO5. <clears throat> Then third uh, development was that in 1899, El Mon, El Mon developed industrial method. Developed industrial method. Industrial method for the preparation of pure or uh, pure methane for production of production of pure methane from decomposition of this NiCO four. And uh, CO four by decomposition. So this was very powerful uh, or very strong and effective commercially uh, investigation <coughs> by Elmon. 
again if we see the spectroscopic evidences spectroscopic evidences then the various instrumentation such as ir ir then c13 nmr 13c nmr and mos bohr mos bohr spectroscopies spectroscopies provided unequivocal evidence for bonding and structure in metal carbonates the x-ray diffraction also was shown x-ray diffraction shown the geometrical properties means structure or we can say geometry of carbonyls so we gave geometry x-ray x-ray diffraction help us to provide geometry of metal carbonyls in 1905 Alfred Werner Alfred Werner described Sudenberg's Sudenberg's platinum complex Alfred Werner described Sujin Burgers Sujin Burgers Platinum Complex Platinum Complex complexes such as such as electric pt co2 cl2 and pt co ca2 as compounds in which central atom is connected to two different radicals hence in this case this is the central atom so it is connected to platinum is connected to this carbon monoxide as well as this we can say this cl means platinum is connected to both carbon monoxide ligand as well as cl gap so this was investigated by alfred werner in using this complex <coughs> then another development shows that in 1928 in 1928 richard and schultz richard and schultz discussed the properties and reactions of carbon monoxide we discussed about the properties and reactions discuss the properties and reactions of each metal carbonyls uh, that is carbon monoxide and observe that the carbon monoxide is directly attached to the metal for example <coughs> the nickel but in this investigation that is the structure determination the bonding mode was not established or described by them later on in the next event event or development in 1937 in 1937 under scientist rich crowds rich crowds and 
as steel wool goods are steel wool goods stated that <coughs> stated that carbide cyanides and metal carbonyls do not belong to the class of organo metallics so they made good very important investigation that metal carbides metal carbides then cyanides and carbonyls are not are not organo metallics this is because this is because the organo metallics contain the this is because organo metallics contain metal carbon bond in which this carbon is a part of so this carbon is a part of <coughs> alkyl alkyl aryl group that is hydro uh, carbon radical so this should be this carbon should be hydrocarbon that is hydro carbon radical means the carbon which is bonded to the metal should be the part of any organic species but only the attachment of metal with carbon doesn't mean that that carbon is a part of organic species because the carbon monoxide that is carbides cyanides and carbonyls means carbon monoxide which are carrying the carbon is not a part of organic species they are inorganic species as a result the compounds metal compounds of these species cannot be considered as organo metallic compounds or organo metallics <coughs> The next development shows that in 1920s next development showed that in 1920s in 19 20s the reactions were investigated and shown that the if e twice if e twice if e co5 were on interaction with some light sunlight show the dimerization of this that is fe2co9 that is fe2co9 which gave the orange yellow color this gave orange yellow product that is fe2co9 <coughs> later on After fifteen years, after fifteen years, after fifteen years, 
अनुपम साइंटिस्ट जेम्स जेम्स देवा जेम्स देवा देवा एंड हम प्रे ओविंग एंड हम प्रे ओविंग जोंस Jones <clears throat> at Cambridge University. They are from Cambridge University. They determined the composition of a fig to see one eye. Determine the composition of a fig to see one eye. And observe that, and observe that this if you see one line, if you see O five or if you see O four after heating or heating, give if you see O. FeCO4 twice that is the dimer or it give also a fee CO4 FeCO4 and that is a polymer polymer Means this FeCO2 or this FeCO4 on heating undergoes polymerization, and the color is dark, dark green. <coughs> It is lustrous, lustrous, prismatic, prismatic, or prismatic, and polymer in nature, polymeric or polymer. Can say it is polymer. So this <coughs> lateron, Heber and Baker, on the basis of molecular weight determination, showed that another scientist, Heber and Baker, on the basis of molecular weight determination, showed that the compound is Fe three CO four. They proved that. Heber and Baker. Heber and Baker prove that it is Fe three CO twelve. Hence, the structure was confirmed on the basis of molecular weight determination made. Later on, also. Under development in the same rich area, that is in 1920. Another development in the same period, that is 1920s. 1920s. So that another scientist, Andrei Jov. Andrei Jov observed that. Observe that the slow reaction of organic magnesium halide, that is Grignard's reagent, with carbon monoxide, was accelerated with the salts of transition metals. <coughs> so, the slow reaction of organic magnesium halide, that is RMGX, we can generally represent it as R N G X, that is Grignard's reagent. Grignard's reagent. Reaction is slow with carbon monoxide, but when it is treated with anhydrous, anhydrous CrCl3 means transition metal halide. Anhydrous with salts of transition metals, particularly anhydrous 
chromium trichloride. Gay complex organic earth. Gay complex complex organic product. So this product it was found to be soluble in water. Soluble in water. And it was proved to be it was shown to be the CR CO6 CR CO6 So Iron injection is very nasty reagent when to change with carbon monoxide to bring soft and hydro CRCLT gave this complex product which is soluble in water and which was found to be this CrCO6 that is hexacarbonyl chromium. Hexacarbonyl chromium. Similarly, the same product can be prepared by using metal, other metals such as molybdenum. Instead of uh, this CR, we can use molybdenum chlorides that is moly MOCl5 or tungsten. We can get here tungsten by using WCl6 that is uh, hexachloride of tungsten. <coughs> the next development was shown in 1950s 1950s when the mechanism of the above process was understood mechanism was above process yes, which we have shown earlier mechanism was established or understood was understood Mechanism of the above process was understood. In this period, the scientists Walter Herbing and Harold Jace, Walter Herbing, and Harold Jace. Yes. So the so that or so the existence of CR CO3 should the existence of chromium chromium three. Arrays, chromium three arrays. <coughs> Formation of organometallic compounds as intermediates in the reaction of metal halides with Grignard's reagent had been accepted. So, as a result of <coughs> this existence, the formation of <coughs> metal organometallic compounds as intermediates. In the reaction of metal halides with Grignard's reagent had been accepted. Another development in this another development in this period was another scientist Wilhelm Wilhelm Nanchut Wilhelm Nanchut and his son his son. Wilhelm Wilhelm J. Nanchut Wilhelm J. Nanchut In the preparation of Rutanium pentachlorocarbonyl In the preparation of Rutanium pentachlorocarbonyl In the 
प्रिपरेशन ऑफ रेडियम पेंटा कार्बोनिल फ्रॉम आर यू आई थ्री रेडियम प्लाइमेंट demonstrated that only metal arrays but also it's not only metal arrays but also metal carbonyl halides were potential intermediates means <coughs> not only the rubenium halide that is triamine but also metal carbonyl halides were potential intermediates in the formation of zero valent metal carbonyls means it is not necessary that metal ion should be there in the formation of metal carbonyls the metal in their neutral atomic state can also form the metal carbonyls that is their zero valent oxidation state for example if we show the reaction like this ru i3 plus carbon monoxide in presence of ambient ambient atmosphere that is pressure ambient pressure of this carbon ambient pressure of carbon monoxide <coughs> that is atmosphere we will store here that is atmosphere so i give the r u c o to i2 which after interaction or reaction with finely divided silver finely divided divided silver so it gave us new product r u c o r u and this Further, in presence of light or interaction with light, give <coughs> that is minus carbonyl means one. There is uh, removal of carbon monoxide with the formation of a dimer that is Ru two C one nine Ru two C one nine. So <coughs> here this. metal ion is in the uh, zero valent oxidation state but they are zero valent another development in this same period was walter hybert walter hybert hybert took up the research experiment with fco5 of the research experiment with fco5 provided by dr mitesh mitesh and warned that the metal carbonyls are potentially hazardous or uh, they are that is inherent danger uh, was <coughs> the car metal carbonyls as they are highly toxic it shows that the handling of such metallic preparation or storing etc or reactions of metal carbonyls is highly dangerous and proper care should be taken <coughs> during this process all of them believe that these metal carbonyls to be organo metallics but it was proved that these are not the uh, actually metal Uh, organo metallic compounds but they are simply metal carbonyls hybert followed his work after coordination compounds <coughs> hybert followed his work with the coordination compounds of that is sn that is t4 T4 helium 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 3 T4 
convert to wheat wheat amines so it is he studied the reactions of these matrices wheat amines that is he started investigation on he started investigation on the reactivity of fcso5 reactivity reactivity of fcso5 towards towards pyridine and ethylene diamine was pyridine and ethylene diamine <coughs> he found that the reaction showed partial elimination of carbon monoxide so during his investigation he showed he found that the there is partial elimination of carbon monoxide means some of the carbon monoxide of this fcso5 are lost as a result of wheat there is formation of deep red solution that is loss of co partial 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 loss and as a result of this <coughs> there is formation of a deep red the real solution declare solutions from which the iron carbonyl complexes containing amines from which so from this solution the iron the ap complex containing containing amines where isolated where isolated <coughs> so later on they were proved to be ionic in nature so these amines were proved to be proved to be ionic in nature that is cationic and anionic <coughs> for example let <coughs> for example the structures like this are found that is a p p y 6 2 plus 2 plus 1 a p e m thrice 2 plus so these are cations and mono and oligonuclear carbonyl ferrets mono and oligonuclear ferrets as anions mono and oligo nuclear ferrets as anions Anions. So these are <coughs> anions. Ah, in fee, CO four two minus. It is CO four two minus. If we do CO eight two minus and if we three if we three CO eleven three minus two minus. <coughs> so such anions we have found, and it shows that. they all of them were same electrons valence electrons and in 
like that in neutral species. So they were similar. So all these were shown to be with same valence with same valence electrons valence electrons as neutral species that is Fe CO Fe CO Fe two Fe two CO nine and Fe three CO twelve. Means the number of electrons are similar like that of neutral species. And later on, the Heber, the scientist Heber, also isolated and characterized the iron and cobalt carbon in hydrides. That is the next development by Heber. So he isolated and characterized. Isolated and characterized. Iron, iron and cobalt, carbonyl, carbonyl hydrides, hydrides, that is, that is H2, FeCO4, and H C O H C O C O four H C O C O four. So this is about the introduction and this account of the developments and that is in the history of metal carbonate. So with this we will stop our discussion and later on we will go to see the characteristic features of the block elements. <coughs> Subscribe to this uh, channel and get the new videos immediately at your <coughs> help. Also press the like button and bell icon so thank you very much for watching keep watching this channel dr ar chemistry thank you